like French accent, but you don't like French people. The what? <laughs> Do you have a picture of that? No. <laughs> Sorry. That is yeah, yeah, a nice. fake, a false. Yes. Bonjour à tous, dans cette vidéo, j'ai invité mes deux copines australiennes, April et Sharon, à venir nous parler des clichés australiens. Elles viennent toutes les deux de la ville de Darwin, dans le nord de l'Australie, et vous allez voir, euh, c'est assez marrant et surtout assez fou les clichés qu'on peut avoir sur les Australiens. Je vous laisse tout de suite avec la vidéo. Bon visionnage Ça va être la première vidéo où je parle en anglais, donc euh, soyez indulgents, euh, c'est pas facile. Hi girls, how are you Hello So, I, I prepared a uh, little questions. We are going to talk about Australian cliché. I basically made a list okay. of the different clichés about Australian people and you're just going to tell us what you think about it. I found a lot of different clichés. Mm -hmm. So we can start with the first one and just tell me what you think in a spontaneous way. Okay. So first one is pretty nice. Australian people are cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I do say so myself, definitely. I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. I think people generally They're very relaxed. And I think generally speaking, we really just like just want to have a good time. Most Australians are just in it to like make make a few friends. Doesn't matter what the circumstances. Australians just want to have a good time. Maybe have a few beers, kick one back, and like make some friends. Like no one takes life too seriously. Again, generally speaking, um, yes, yeah, so I mean, we're pretty, we're pretty cool. Yeah, Lawrence, you're on the video. <laughs> um, you, we can see <laughs> you <laughs> on the bed. You can see Florence's legs. Lawrence, do you mind if we see your legs on the video? No. Okay. So you just eat beer and barbecue. We eat. You beer. drink <laughs> beer and you eat barbecue. Um, I suppose that's like yeah, like Aussie. We just have barbecues and like we are known for like drinking culture heavily, mm -hmm. especially beer. There is no season in Australia and especially no snow. That's, um, that's definitely snow. Yeah. yeah. Um, for us, we have two seasons up in the territory: dry season and the wet season. Um, and down south, they definitely have um, yeah spring, summer, winter, and autumn. So, that is yeah, yeah a fake, a false myth. So you know you have like the picture of the typical Australian like person, uh, especially mm -hmm. like blonde. What's what's a typical Australian a person? A typical to you? Australian person, blonde, surfer, sexy. <laughs> Neither of us are blonde and surfers. Maybe <laughs> <I>, sexy. <laughs> like you just like picturing Chris and Hemsworth, like the Hemsworth brothers. And it, again, it depends where you come from. If you are from like the Gold Coast, sunny coast, that sort of like. That um, a recent study came out from the census that we did a year ago that said 51, so more than half, 51% of our Australian population are not Australian born, um, which is great for us because it means we have so much more diversity, but it also means if you're asking what a typical Australian looks like, we actually can't tell you. Australia is a spiritual and a vegan friendly country. Well, neither of us are vegan. Okay. I think Spiritual if you come from stuff? somewhere like Melbourne or Sydney, because those are bigger cities, they cater to that. I actually don't think there's much in Darwin for. We have we have a few. I do think our like in comparison, I've, um, I'm not sure about any grocery stores and friends, but in comparison to the US here. Uh, our grocery stores are very green, fresh. We don't have plastic wrapped around everything. Mm, that's true compared to the US. To save the turtles. Like a lot of people have like the impression that in Australia you have like more chances to die than in other countries, <laughs> especially <laughs> with the white animals like spiders, crocodile. <laughs> Do you want to go? Again, definitely a stereotype. Not saying that we don't have all those deadly animals, we do. But you're not gonna come across them in the middle of the city. I mean, I'm not saying. Although that's the not other possible. day I saw a um, a news article, there was a crocodile in someone's pool Whoa. in Darwin. That does happen yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I, again, I actually quite like crocodiles. But like the more dangerous things are kind of like the small things. Like yeah, the spiders. spiders. Yeah. But and even the not... smaller snakes, because the the more poisonous snakes are probably only like this big. Yeah, they have. You can always tell. Um, but you know, as an Australian, you are sort of taught what is good, what what's not good. But. You're not going to be walking around in the city frightened for your life that you're going to get. Snakes are always more scared of 
you than you are of them. They will feel your vibration. So mm -hmm. most of the time, um, if you, when you walk through the grass, you know you want to stomp your feet like pretty heavily on the ground so that they can feel the vibration go away. When you go camping, you look in your shoes. Yeah, you, you do. Don't, you touch your oh, shoes out. Don't stick your foot in. I mean, even, even at home. <laughs> yeah, like I don't leave shoes outside. If you do, you gotta check. You them. really have to check your <coughs> shoes. Dude, you I don't go swimming in random like lakes and mm -hmm. like we know the seasons and when to do things when not to do things we know what to look for we know how and we also grow up learning like basic first days so this one is kind of true it is true but uh, the thing is i don't want to scare people away from australia just because we have a lot of animals i have never been bit by snakes so <laughs> they don't all gather in one spot <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> let's hang out and let's go after you so. <laughs> but speaking of animals you al you also have the good ones like the kangaroos yes. and the koalas yeah. Kangaroos are kind of scary though. <laughs> and koalas carry chlamydia. So My fun fact. favorites are definitely wallabies. I tell everybody that I prefer wallabies over kangaroos because they are small, they are cute, and mm. um, they're like adorable. Um, wombats are echidnas. so like, yeah, echidnas, wombats, um, platypus. Even um, kookaburras, they're oh, so like, they're so cool. oh, that yeah. sounds like a seal. And I have one that is funny, uh -huh. but I personally don't think it's true. Okay. Maybe, it, maybe it's true, I mean, you tell me. Um, people ride kangaroos to go to school? Yes. yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but definitely. We, we can't ride them to work because we're too big. Like, mm -hmm. adults, <laughs> like we are, we would like, we would crush it. But when we're kids, we ride them to school. Really? Yeah. But you have like a, the little... Thing you put on it or is it like a little saddle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Saddle, yeah. And, okay. and also, um, do you have uh, pictures of that? <laughs> no, I'm actually totally joking. <laughs> yeah, right, Congo is a good one. <laughs> you like French accent, but you don't like French people. Ah! Who said that? <laughs> it's the internet. Ah, that's a sentence. <laughs> I don't, th I don't think there's any negativity to No, I think people. everybody knows the feeling when tourists are in town. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, oh some of my favorite people are French. <laughs> <laughs> have their own slang. Yes, we have yeah. a lot of slang terms. Do you want us to tell you what they mean? Yeah, to have a Captain Cook. Oh, to have a look. But <laughs> first of all, it's a very, like, it's a very, like I said, baby boomer thing to... I can, I can see it. I can see yeah. it. Like generationally old. Okay, but the yes. next one is kind of long, and if you know it, like. I okay, know. go on. Fair go, mate. Fair suck of the sauce bottle. Fair crack of the whip. I'm sorry, can I read this? <laughs> fair go, mate. Why did you find that? <laughs> it means you want to be treated fairly. I don't know, but. I think that's old. Maybe fair I was suck of the old. sauce bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit me with Akadaka. Huh? Or ACDC. Oh, who okay. are an Australian band, by the way. Just fun fact. <laughs> What's the John Dory? The what? <laughs> Sorry? Excuse me? John Dory. It means what's the gossip. It's actually very old language. It's like the, the kind of slang that baby boomers will use. I don't think I've ever heard, I've never even heard of that, but it does sound like something a baby boomer would say. Can I swear? Yeah. Uh, don't fuck a spider. Oh, no, no, we're, no. <laughs> we're not here to fuck spiders. I realize. Um, yeah, um, what do you, what do you think that is? Okay, you have to do this, this stuff. Yeah, it's not. We're not here to fuck around. We're not here to mess around, waste time. We're here. To, we're in it for the business. <laughs> and do you have a way to say goodbye? I feel like there is a way to say goodbye, but I'm gonna actually have to Google it because I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, hooroo! Yeah, we just we go hooroo, hooroo, hooroo. <laughs>